we're dealing with a blank slate. Um, I mean, I should note that that's very similar to where the Obama administration is and was and, and, and likely where um, a Clinton administration would be. It's incumbent on us to educate and work with uh, the White House to make sure that they understand that we believe that encryption is part of our safety and security. If you weaken encryption, you're giving more tools to the bad guys, um, and we can't have back doors that anybody can use. And so we'll work with the White House um, to make sure that we get our message across and can work with them on this. There's a section in here on the sharing economy as well, and there's a study out, I believe, from J.P. Morgan recently showing that actually a number of sharing economy workers are dropping out of those jobs despite the flexibility if they have any kind of a better offer. What is it going to take for that sharing economy to continue to expand and perhaps do better under a President Trump? And what are you asking for? Yeah, I mean, the story of all of our companies and our industry as a whole is permissionless innovation. And no, nowhere else is that more clear than when you look at the sharing economy companies. These are companies that need access to markets, which I think they'll be getting even more so now under maybe under this White House. And when you mention the labor issues, um, people are working for themselves. Really what you're seeing is um, small business people, people working for themselves through these platforms. The companies are the platforms, they're not employers. And I think that's something that will be um, a receptive message uh, with the Trump White House. If you got just one ask among all these many that, that you think is the most important, which one do you pick? Is it the security and encryption? Is it net neutrality and uh, the openness of the Internet? Is it immigration? And please do just pick one. Look, I, I think one area is, is trade. Um, when you look at our companies, 80 percent of Internet users are abroad, but 80 percent of the value and jobs are here in the United States. Um, a number of our proposals are, are things that we need in new trade deals, which I think we can get. Um, and we want to make sure that our companies can grow and prosper here in the United States, but also be exported to the world. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.